Stop living in the past. Don't nobody care what you, I, I don't care what you did 10 years ago. Does anybody care about the person who created MySpace? MySpace is, it was once the biggest thing on the planet. Dead and gone. Does anybody care about the person who created the Xerox machine? Dead and gone. It, 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 you, what you done years ago, nobody cares about. They only care about what you're going to do tomorrow. I went to the barbershop this weekend. Actually, I go to the barbershop every weekend and I love to go because it gives me a chance to really connect and, 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 and vibe out with some of the old crew. Give me a chance to go back to the old neighborhood, chill with my friends, guys I came up with from this high or, 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 or my brother and just sit around, talk, laugh, find out what's going on in the hood and, and, and just have fun. It's, it's my personal downtime. But as I'm sitting in a barbershop this weekend, I had a chance to really sit back, right? And I'm looking, and, and <laughs> I'm looking at my old friends, and I'm saying to myself, like, whoa, like, we getting old. You know, because my old friends, and these was dudes who, who, who was doing it in their day. But but you look at them now, they they, they got the baggy pants on. They got if if, if they wear one X, they got three X shirts on and, and and Pele Pele jackets and you know Scully hats. And I was like, whoa, like 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 when did the crew get this out of touch? But it may but you can't hold up. You can't tell them that they ain't still doing it. You can't tell them that it ain't 1995. But but it just got me to thinking. And I was saying to myself, like, man, you know, we got to keep looking forward. You know, th 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 this life is too short. It goes by so quick. You got to keep your eyes on the prize because too many people are living in the past. Too many people, the, 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 the greatest days of their life is behind them. That's a miserable life. If you're a person who's out there in, 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 in the best years of your life was high school, if you still telling them old college frat and sorority stories every weekend, like maybe you really need to sit down and reevaluate yourself. Maybe you need to reevaluate where you are right now today. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with those old stories, but if that is the highlight of your life, if, if you're not adding no new Kodak moments to your life, if there's no new memories being made, something is wrong. Like, like, like really sit and think about this. Every day, we should be waking up with, with, with newness, a new spirit, new energy, thinking of new goals. Soon as you hit a goal, you thinking about the next. Matter of fact, before you hit your goal, you should be thinking about the next one. Like, I'm almost at this goal. I said, I'm thinking about the next one. That's the only way you're going to achieve. That's the only way you're going to get to that place you always wanted to go. But if you're stagnant, if, 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 if your life haven't moved, and, and, you know, I'm not accusing nobody of nothing. I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking and I'm sharing. Really, take inventory of your life. Go back five years ago, 10 years ago. You still living in the same place? Still associating with the same people? Still eating the same food? Still weigh the same? If you weigh the same, that's a good thing. Because <laughs> as you get older, you start putting on that weight. But the bottom line is, when you take inventory of yourself, are you changing for the better? Are you growing? Are you looking ahead? Because that's what it really comes down to in this life. You got to look forward. When, when, when you see races and, 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 and you see these track and field and, and they're running, as soon as that, that gun go off, these guys are looking, running. <laughs> If, if they turn around and you never see, you never see none of them ever. They're so focused straight ahead because if they turn around that macro second, that macro second that it takes to, the person who was trailing them just blew by him. Just blew by. How many people have blown by you because you're too busy looking to your right and to your left? 
How many people have blown by you because you are still in the exact same space that you was years ago? It's time to get up. Dust those cobwebs off. Move forward because every second counts. I don't know how else to put it to you. Like, like for me, I'm always trying to grow in three specific areas of my life. Mind, body, spirit. And what I mean by that, like, 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 it's a conscious choice. It's conscious for me every day. Like, like, if, if it's sixty seconds in a minute, as it tick, 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 I want to know where each one of those seconds went. And it's usually split between three specific areas of my life. I am enriching my mind, meaning I am reading. I'm learning something I didn't know yesterday. I, I don't care what it is. Things that interest me, things that will help me become a better speaker, things that, I, that, that, that will give me knowledge so that I can help my family, my friends, help you. Body, same thing, that same 60 seconds. If I'm not in that gym or I'm not on the street trying to do one extra mile, trying to do something that, that will help my body, help me so that I don't have to get on cholesterol medicine, so that I don't, I don't have to go to the doctor and they tell me, well, it's time for you to get on blood pressure medicine, any of that stuff. I want to do something that enriches my body and then my spirit. All day, every day, I'm praying. I'm stay. I mean, I, you know. And when I say spirit, it doesn't mean religion. I don't know what you do. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. You. 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 You could probably you do yoga, you know, Pilates. I. I, I don't. I don't know if you if you meditate during the day. What are you doing to connect with your spirit? For me, it's that relationship with the man upstairs. And 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 and, and that helps keep me grounded. That helps keep me focused. That helps. Me, me understand you, Sean, stay humble. You know better than the next person. Your job, you got one job, and it's to, it, it, it's to help. It's to give back. That is your job. You know better. So what are you doing to enrich yourself? And these are just my three specific areas. Maybe you have your own. You know, I went a couple of years ago to, 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 to a funeral to pay my respects. And, and, and I didn't really know the guy like that. I, I, I knew him, but he was more of a friend of, of, of the family. And outside of myself, six people showed. Six people. Do you understand how mad I would be on the other side looking in on my funeral? And in all the years that I lived on this planet, my life affected six people and five of those people were his family his mother and his sisters I I, I, I was stunned I felt so bad because and, and, and it just made me say how was he spending his time was he treating it like 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 time was the most precious commodity ever given to mankind or did he waste every second Every second counts, guys. You got to make every second work. Every second. I don't know what that man did with his life. I just know in the end, maybe judging by the amount of people that, that showed up for him, it didn't seem like he touched that many people. Are you touching people with, 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 with you know, because we all have gifts. We all have something inside of us to give to this world. Are you using your gift to give back in a positive way to this world? If you're not, every second counts. Start now. Start giving. Start doing something meaningful. Is there anybody that, that would, would, would look back at you and say, this is the person that inspired my life? This is the person that made me become the person that I have become? If not, every second count, start working. Get to work. Guys, I just wanted to make it short and sweet and just give you something to think about, Some just some food for thought. Stop living in the past. Don't nobody care what you, I, I don't care what you did 10 years ago. 
Does anybody care about the person who created MySpace? MySpace is, it was once the biggest thing on the planet. Dead and gone. Does anybody care about the person who created the Xerox machine? Dead and gone. It, 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 you, what you done years ago, nobody cares about. They only care about what you're going to do tomorrow. So go out and do something special. Go out and touch somebody. Go out and contribute to this world because every second count. Peace and love, guys. I appreciate you. And just remember, every second count. Don't just make moves, make power moves. And I'll catch you on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.